With Mother's Day right around the corner, I know you're probably not all thinking, what should I make for my mom on Mother's Day morning? I know not everyone makes their mom's breakfast, and while I am maybe getting a little bit old to do it, while I still can and live close by, I'm definitely going to. This is a very simple roasted fruit topped with a sabayon. Now, I know you're probably not all used to a sabayon, but let me tell you something, it sounds a lot more complicated than it is. But you sound so sophisticated saying it that everyone is gonna think you are amazing for making it. We do not need to tell them how easy this is. To start, you just wanna get your fruit roasting. So you just put some blueberries, some raspberries, and some strawberries right into a bowl. Now, you can use any berry you like. I love the combination of these three, but if there's another one you wanna throw in there, blackberries would be amazing too. Just take the tops off of the strawberries and kind of thickly slice them. I don't like to slice them too thin because then they kind of roast down to nothing and just become mush. Once you have all your fruit ready to go, you can just add some sugar. I like to use caster sugar, or sometimes called baking sugar. It's kind of in between a powdered sugar and a granulated sugar. It's a little bit finer and it melts into the mixture so much quicker. A lot of times people use it for drinks, so it's really good to keep on hand because you can always make a drink or two. I like to zest an orange right into the bowl and then just cut it and juice it too. I love to add a little bit of orange liqueur. This is of course optional. I know not all of you want to use liqueur and that is completely okay. Add a little bit in there and it is really gonna make all these flavors come together and really pop and stand out. Now, if you don't want to use liqueur, I would just add a little bit more juice to compensate and it is gonna be so delicious. Just stir it up a little bit and then put it right onto a small baking sheet. Now, this is enough to make two good servings. So um, one for you, one for your mother, or you can just make as many as you want. It is so easy to multiply this recipe. Throw those right into your preheated oven and then you can start making your sabayon. Now I know this sounds so difficult, just the name of it kind of makes it sound a little bit pretentious, which <laughs> that never scares me. I love to make something that sounds complicated, but this isn't complicated at all. To start, you just wanna separate your eggs. We only need the yolks for this, but don't throw the whites away. You can make a meringue or save some and make a beautiful angel food cake. Whites are so versatile, so don't throw them away. After your yolks are in the bowl, I like to whisk them just to make sure they're combined and broken up. Whisk them just a little bit until they're becoming slightly frothy and then add in your sugar. Again, I'm using caster sugar because it melts into these yolks and whips into them so much easier. Again, I like to whisk in that sugar before I move on just to make sure it's incorporated. For one, if you let sugar sit on eggs too long, it actually kind of slightly starts to cook them, so it's never a good idea just to let sugar and eggs sit together. I'm just using a white wine. You can use a sparkling wine if you like, or you can leave the wine out and you can actually just use water, but wine really flavors it, so I would definitely add the wine if you don't mind. I also am adding a little bit more of that orange liqueur. It really just brings the two dishes together on top of the fruit that already has a little bit in it. It really just marries together so well. If you don't want to use liqueur, you can again use orange juice here. Then just a pinch of salt and whisk it together. Once everything is mixed, you just want to put it on top of some simmering water on the stove. Now I'm going to admit, I'm going to use a traditional sabayon pan. And I'm gonna guess that not too many of you have a traditional sabayon pan. You may ask, why on earth do you have one? No, I do not make sabayon every day or even honestly that much at all. I saw the sabayon pan when I was walking past it in a store, fell in love, kind of bought it without thinking, and well, now I have this pan that looks gorgeous but I don't use a lot. So don't worry if you don't have one, I'm not gonna recommend that you buy one, unless you just wanna add to your copper collection, which I love to do, but otherwise a glass bowl on top of the simmering water works perfectly. Just place the bowl right on top of the simmering water and then whisk it constantly. You're just gonna keep whisking this, adding air, making it frothy until it reaches 160 degrees. At this point, the eggs are gonna be cooked and the mixture is really gonna become a lot thicker and almost like a luscious sauce, which is exactly what we want. 
This is so delicious, and I know it sounds odd, but it's really actually easy, and you're gonna, I think, find a lot of uses for this because, um, hello, easy, delicious, need I say more? Once it is cooked, you are gonna find that your fruit is done. So just remove the fruit from the oven, set it aside, and then bring your sabayon right off the stove too. As you can see, I just checked mine with an instant read thermometer. They're really handy, so if you have one, make sure it's at 160 degrees. Otherwise, you could eye it and just make sure it's really thick, but if you're unsure, a thermometer is the perfect way to know. To assemble these, um, it could not be easier. I'm using two gorgeous dishes. I am just putting the roasted fruit right into them. Like I said, this is two servings, but make as many as you want. And then I'm topping it with this luscious sauce. Now, to finish this off, I'm gonna brulee the top of the sabayon. Just sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top, and then I am using a torch. Now, you may notice this is a little bit bigger torch than a lot of usual kitchen torches. I find those small torches really are not that useful because they don't have that much power. So, I like to have one of these more industrial ones. And if you don't have one, don't worry. You can use a small torch or just put them under the broiler for just a few seconds. Make sure you watch it but the top is gonna brulee, become slightly crispy, and then you are ready to go. To finish this, I love to garnish it with a little bit of orange zest and some torrin mint leaves. They really just kind of complement the flavor and a little bit of green is kind of nice. This is the perfect Mother's Day dish, and if you make it for your mom or anyone special, I know they are gonna love it. This is kind of a old time dessert, but in an updated way, and I cannot wait for you guys to try this. It is so delicious. If you agree, make sure to like this video and click subscribe to become part of the Gray Boxer channel and be up to date on all of our videos. Happy Mother's Day.